Hello there. <laughs> friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for the people who left lovely comments on my very first video and to those who reached out to me privately to talk about you know the sort of content that they would like to see in my future videos you can expect more videos about art uh, my art process books and some cooking videos um, I would love to share some of my favorite Filipino recipes with you guys thought I'd share with you a process video of me painting the cover of one of my small sketchbooks. For this one, I'm using the Caran d'Ache gouache in tablet form. I'm mixing the paints with water on the palette on the lid of the tin here. I think this is probably the only brand of gouache that comes in tablet form. I haven't used gouache enough to compare this with other brands and types, but I do like its portability. Um, gouache, like watercolor, is activated by mixing with water. The main difference between the two is that gouache dries opaque, whereas watercolor is transparent. This means that with gouache, you can lay down dark colors first, then paint light colors over them, something that you cannot do with watercolors. Uh, another difference is that with gouache, you need to be conscious of the consistency of the paint with each layer that you put down. So starting with a really thin watery layer ensures that when you put the next layer down, the base layer won't get activated. So as you put more layers down, you just need to make sure that the layers are thicker in consistency. This, was, this will also help you avoid a chalky texture in your painting. So uh, I've sped up this video in most parts, but um, one thing to remember is that as with watercolors, it's really important to let each layer dry first before you add the next layer of paint. Anyway, I thought I'd use this segment to talk a little bit about creativity. In my future videos, I'm hoping to talk about developing and sustaining creative habits, but I'd like to emphasize that I'm fully aware that I'm talking from a place of privilege. Even though I have a full-time job, I work from home and thus don't get to experience the stress of a daily commute. And I'm also at the stage of my life where my kids are teenagers and they no longer demand so much of my time and physical presence. I say this because over the past year, we've heard stories of people, you know, unlocking talents and skills they never thought they had before after being forced to stay at home because of the pandemic. People learning to bake. Um, starting new careers in art or even succeeding at starting their own creative businesses have been the focus of many news stories that were, you know, understandably meant to lift our spirits up. The inspirational feel-good vibes are great, but I do worry about how they gloss over the fact that for most people, being in lockdown hasn't led to any creative breakthroughs at all. 
Many, especially women with young children, have actually struggled with having even less time for themselves. Add to that the trauma of financial instability, job loss, grief at having lost neighbors, friends or family members, or the mental and physical havoc caused by having caught the disease themselves. So if you're one of those people who the past year has left feeling drained of inspiration, know that you're not alone. Don't feel inadequate or stressed because being in lockdown hasn't made you more creative or inspired you to run a successful business. Not everyone will come out of this pandemic a success story. Most of us will just be survival stories. And believe me, that's more than enough. Here's the finished painting. It's a cat inside an avocado, just because. Near the um, other most recent sketchbooks that I've also painted. So anyway, hit me up with your thoughts on creativity and has yours flourished during the pandemic? Let me know in the comment section. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed all the snippets that you saw in this video. I will see you in the next one. Remember, as the poet Toy Derricott said, joy is an act of resistance. Let's keep celebrating what is good, what is true, and what's beautiful in our lives. If you liked this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.